Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, I want to be highlighting a new project that was actually released today with its new guidelines and that is called Red Pajama, which is a project that aims to develop an open source language model and that is competitive with the state of the art models in terms of its accuracy as well as its efficiency. Now the project began by reproducing Llama's training data sets which contains over 1.2 trillion tokens and it's currently the largest publicly available data set for training language models and it's something that you can access on the Hugging Face interface for their actual project. And we can see there's a wide variety of different data set and token counts that are basically given to different like fields in which it is training as well as attaining its data and this is something that we'll highlight later on in the video so before we actually get into the bulk of what the project is trying to accomplish i would highly recommend that you go subscribe guys i'm always posting a lot of value and turn on the notification bell like this video and comment anything that you want to see in the future guys uh, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos there's a lot of content that will definitely benefit you so i highly recommend that you do so with that thought let's get right into the video and another thing i wanted to mention is that i'm going to leave all the links down in the description below in with the github link as well as the data set link and their new blog post link and what they're trying to focus on now the red pajama project is actually an initiative of Aluther AI, which is a non-profit organization that is committed to creating an open source AI model that is accessible to a whole group of new people. Now, Luther AI was founded in 2020 by a group of AI researchers. There's actually people who are working from Stanford as well as different researchers and university groups that are working towards uh, the basic concern of the lack of diversity and transparency in the AI world. And basically with this new project, they believe that they can develop an open source AI model, which is basically essential for promoting collaboration, innovation, as well as accessibility in the field of AI with an LLM that is open source with a huge training data set that can be basically revolutionary in a way by reproducing different artificial generative content in a better way. Now, what they're trying to do is reproduce the Llama training data set. And this is something that we will be talking about later on in the video. And this is a significant achievement for this project. Now, Llama data set is a highly curated and diverse data set, if you do not know, as it contains a text from a wide variety of sources, which we can see over here. They got basic data from like news articles, Wikipedia, books, web pages, and a lot of different ranges of like information. It's an excellent resource basically for training large language models as it reflects the complexity as well as the basic performance of a natural language. And this is something that I really highlighted in my previous videos on Llama. So I highly recommend that you go check it out on how to actually install Llama on your local desktop. Now, by reproducing Llama's data sets, the actual project Red Pajama basically has created a foundation for developing high quality of a high quality language model, which is going to be used for a variety of applications, including language NLP, which is lang lang natural language processing, sorry, a sentiment analysis, as well as a machine translation. Now, this project is also committed to developing models that are efficient and scalable so that they can be used for research as well as development in different types of expertise. Now, what I really wanted to focus on was what they're launching with this new component that they had just talked about today. And the first component is the pre-training data, which is being released today. And this is something that I'll emphasize in a couple of seconds. So basically, the current foundation models for artificial intelligence are closed behind commercial APIs, if you guys don't know, which limits the actual research, customization, and their use for their sensitive data. But with this open source model that Red Pajama has actually have a potential to create, it's basically going to remove these limitations. And if this quality gap between open and closed source can be closed. Now, the recent progress has been made towards this goal with an open source model such as stable diffusion, as well as another thing that we talked about previously, which is called Pythia, Pythia sorry, showing a promise in reviving the quality of commercial offering with data sets. 
Now, Red Pajama also made a new effort and launched by a collaborative between several different organizations, which I talked about. We have people as well as researchers from different places across the whole world. And this project has three key components, which I'm going to be talking about now. The first one is the pre-training data. The second one is the base models. And the third one is trained at a scale of its data. Then instruction tuning, as well as models to improve the base models usability and safety so basically these are the three components that they're going to be emphasizing with their new language model which is a reproduction of llama's training data sets now the first uh, component which we talked about is their pre-training data and that is the thing that is was actually released today on april 17th and this data needs to be a high quality and have broad coverage to ensure that the resulting model is accurate and very comprehensive now, Red Pajama is promising that this initiative has the potential to advance the state-of-the-art natural language processing, as well as promoting an accessibility and transparency of people's data. So, I highly recommend that you check this video, I mean, sorry, this article out, guys, as well as staying tuned for future updates of what this project is trying to accomplish, as this is something that could be quite revolutionary, as well as repurposing the use of different language models. So overall, I definitely feel that this project is going to be promising its initiative that it's going to be able to potentially contribute significantly in the development of different open source AI models as it can be feasible to use such data sets with other models. And by focusing on the development of such high quality language models, I feel like this project is going to be helping to advance the state of the art in its natural language processing. And it's also going to promote transparency with people's privacy as well as get a better reach of accessibility in terms of a quality of data sets so i highly recommend that you stay tuned with this project guys as it's going to be something that is going to be really big and it's something that i'll put emphasis on later on throughout recent weeks of updates and i'll keep making videos on it so with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you found this project uh, helpful or this uh, the video helpful sorry please leave a like down in the description below and comment down anything that you want to see in future updates as well as future videos of me covering different things i'm also going to be creating a discord so stay tuned for that guys and with that thought guys i'll see you guys next time have an amazing day and i'll catch you later peace out fellas